We're going to do a couple of exercises to help you learn how to use the paintbrush tool in Photoshop. So I want you to create a new document. So when you open up Photoshop, go to the very top here where it says web. Click that and then go to web small. And then over here to the right, this is very important, make sure that you uncheck artboards. So it should look just like this with no check there and then press create. So this is the document that we're going to practice using the brush tool in. The brush tool, if you press B on your keyboard, you'll see it's over here. If you click and hold the little triangle right next to the brush tool, it opens up these other types of brushes. We just want the regular top brush tool. When you click on any of these tools, you'll notice at the top it gives you a control controls for the tool up there. So let's say I click on this tool, you can see all that stuff changes each time I type on a tool or click on a tool. But we're going to use the brush tool, and these are the parameters to change things to um, change how the tool works. So let's open up this one right here first and click on that little triangle there you'll see that it has size, hardness, and it has all this other stuff here. We are not going to worry about any of that yet. We are going to focus all of our attention right here where it says size and hardness. So right now I want you to put the size at 100, put the hardness at 100, opacity at 100, flow 100, and this is zero. These things here you usually don't have to change, so it should already default to be these numbers. Okay, and you'll notice when I hover my mouse around that you'll see a circle. That's showing me the size of the brush. If you do not see that circle, that means that your caps lock on your keyboard is on and you might see this plus. So make sure you click your caps lock off and that way you can see the size of the brush that you're going to use. Now whatever color paint comes out on the brush is what you have selected over here. So for now you can choose any color you want. I'm going to go ahead and just leave it on black. So what I want you to do on this document is just practice using the brush tool. So you can see there is a hundred point line. Now I want to make one that's smaller. So you can go up here and choose size and maybe you want to choose 50. And you make a line going across your page using 50. Then go up here and make it 10 and make a 10 point line. Now instead of going up here every time you want to change the size I want to show you another way you can change the size. If you look on your keyboard and you find the letter P, right next to the letter P are brackets. There's a left bracket and a right bracket. If I click on the right bracket you can see it makes the brush large. If I click on the left bracket it makes the brush smaller. So practice doing a few lines across your page, um, changing the size with the bracket tool. Before you turn this assignment in, I want you to use the brush to write your name on here. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to get a 10 point si or 10 pixel size brush and the hardness is still 100. Make sure the opacity is 100 and then choose a color that you can see and I just want you to write your name on it. Of course it might not look very good if you're not using a tablet. It doesn't really matter. I just want you to practice using the brush tool. And when you're done, save a JPEG. You don't need to save a Photoshop file this time because we're not going to go back and edit this. So go to Save As choose JPEG and just name this hard brush and save and put that in your portfolio. The next document we're going to create is learning how to use the soft brush. So go ahead and web again, choose web, choose web small and once again make sure that you uncheck the artboards and then say create. So this time we're going to use a soft brush so let's go back up here and we can make this 100. This time we're going to make the hardness 0. 
and I want you to paint a line across your uh, screen doing the soft brush. So you can see how that's kind of like an airbrush it has a soft edge. Again, you can make the size with the using your bracket keys, click up and make a really big brush and then brush um, on the bottom of your screen. So let's say you want to make a blend from two colors. Let's pick another color here. I'm going to blend these two colors. So I'm going to brush a soft brush with one color on the top and the darker color on the bottom. So practice using the soft brush on your document. Try doing different sizes and try blending some colors together. You can choose any color you want from your color palette. And then when you're done trying the soft brushes, I want you to try one more thing and we're going to use it on the same document we have here. I'm going to choose a color that will show up. I'm going to pick black and let's go back here and make our brush 100 and we'll go ahead and make the hardness 100 again. And this time we're going to change the opacity. Opacity means it, you can see through it or not, whether it's transparent or not. So when the opacity is at 100, try that, make a brush across here you can see that you cannot see through it. It's completely dark. But if I change the opacity, let's say to 50, and I brush across here, you can see that you can't see through it very good. Now I'm going to make the opacity 10. Now you can see it's very light. Okay, so go ahead and experiment on this page using a soft brush, blending some colors together, then put it back to a hard brush, and try some different opacity levels and experiment with that. When you're done with using the soft brushes, I want you to write your name on the bottom with a brush tool again. Make sure you go back up here and make it a 10 pixel brush. Make the hardness 100. Make sure you go back and put the opacity at 100 or you won't be able to see it. And then go ahead and just write, paint your name with a brush along the bottom. You can really practice whatever you want to with this brush. You can doodle on it, anything. Just get used to using the soft, hard brushes and the opacity levels. And that's it. So when you're done, save a JPEG. So you can go File, Save As. Choose Soft Brush. And put this in your portfolio with the hard brush assignment. And then I'm going to give you one more thing to do for this assignment and you'll turn all three of these in on the same web page.